No longer can the church afford to vacate the political realm. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Okay, and so we want to pray over these men and women. I mean, you have, you have people at the federal level. You have your leaders here at the federal level and the state level. So come on, extend your hand. We are here to bless them, Lord. We thank you, God, that you have raised up men and women to stand as watchmen on the wall for the state of Kansas. Lord, we commit as the church of Jesus Christ to pray for them. Lord, we thank you that you've put them in positions of authority. You've given them revelation. Revelation. You've given them discernment. You've given them favor. You've given them open doors. And we pray today as the church, God, we surround them. We surround their families. We say, God, that this would be a season, Lord, of a yes over their life. This would be a season of a breakthrough over their life. This would be a season of favor over life. And we just declare over this Capitol building, nothing can stop the kingdom of God. Nothing can stop the plan of God. We call down unrighteousness. We call down perversion. We call down demonic strongholds that would try to cloak this land. We speak a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, joy instead of mourning. And we thank you, Jesus. Kansas will be a state that leads the way in America, in righteousness, in justice. It leads the way in protecting children. That leads the way on the family. That leads leads the way in religious liberty. God, we say call this state as a forerunner state to pave the way in Jesus' name. Someone say amen.